Everybody, welcome back to the brand new release video. Today we have the 2022 Bowman Mega Boxes. They are finally here. It seems like Bowman's been out now for about two months, and these are just showing up on the shelves at your local Target or your doorstep in my case. I ordered these from Target.com, and they have a limit of three there. Some of you may have ordered them as well, but if you missed out on that, I do believe they're sold out. So you just have to keep checking your local Target, and hopefully you're able to find a mega box for yourself so you'll see some of the big stars or actually the big prospects on the front biggest star there is probably the nice wander franco right there i'm a big fan of the o'neill cruise on the box it's the mega box known for the exclusive five card mojo chrome packs 10 total cards or 10 total packs all together we're going to see what we can find here. 50 cards in the box. Here are all of the odds. If you would like to pause that and read through, there's also the no purchase necessary information if you're interested in that. So our sponsor for this one, it's Dellen. Dellen, thank you very much. If you'd like to buy a box of cards and have us open it on camera, sponsor video, check us out on Patreon. It's $4.99 per month. Get you access to all of our breaks. And we have a break this weekend coming up. 2022 Top Series 2 is here. Or will be here. We'll be breaking jumbo cases of that on Sunday night. A la Saturday Showdown style. It's being delayed one day to Sunday Showdown. But anyway, let's see what we can find in here. Alright, so here are the Mojo Packs. This is where all the goodness is going to lay in these Mega Boxes. The Purple Packs. We've got our regular packs here. We'll see if we can find anything in these to start out. If you're kind of brand new, haven't really been around the hobby for the past couple months, let me just remind you that the two best cards that we're looking for in Bowman in terms of prospects are probably going to be Khalil Watson and Ellie De La Cruz. There are some other nice ones as well, like Curtis Mead. How about Jack Sawinski? Now with seven home runs on the Pirates, that's his first Bowman card right there. And uh, he's in the big leagues now. He'll probably have a rookie card in update this year. Uh, he's doing pretty decent for the Buccos. Jack Sawinski might even end up being the team leader in home runs. Now, it's not like he was just drafted last year. He was drafted back in 2016. There's Seth Beer, rookie card. He'll be one of the nice ones to chase after in Series 2, which is coming out tomorrow. Big release day tomorrow, Series 2. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of good rookies to chase in Series 2 unless you want to go for the redo Wander rookie card. They put a second Wander rookie card in that set, I'm assuming, just to sell more boxes. Bobby Witt Jr. right there, he's not in that set. Neither are any of the fantastic rookies that broke camp or debuted within the first week of the MLB baseball season this year. A big disappointment to everybody, but we've talked about it ad nauseum, so we'll talk about it a little bit more maybe in the preview video tomorrow. There's Spencer Torkelson. Uh, former number one overall pick. So you get a couple Chrome cards in those packs. You get some papers. Not uh, too much. This is where all the fun is going to be at. Your chances of autographs and color are all in here. Let's do the first one. Here's the odds. Once again, you can see right there. Now let's go ahead and hope that we can find something good for you, Dylan. Now these were $50 a piece at uh, target.com and how about that one that's a nice start elijah tatis one of the better rookies or prospects in this set obviously he's got that last name tatis that's fernando's little brother it's a nice purple unfortunately the numbers on the front i almost said unfortunately it's not numbered it's kind of hidden there out of 250 elijah tatis that is a nice looking card cj abrams another one of the nice prospects that we were hoping were going to be in series two he'll be in probably update i would imagine let's go into the second pack second mojo pack has a carlos aguilar and this is good news upside down cards typically are good news this should hopefully be an autograph and it's not they faked us out is a nico cavadas out of 199 so some nice color so far. Both of the packs have had color in it. Jaron Duran, Martin Jimenez, and Hendry Mendez to round out box number one. Let's go into box number two. By the way, it's a double upload day today. Actually, a triple upload if you include the auction we're doing later tonight. I'll have for you a throwback Thursday featuring, I think I'm going to do 2014 Chrome Jumbo. So I'm kind of on a Chrome kick. We'll do 2014 Chrome this week. Next week, we'll do 2015 Chrome. The week after that, we'll do 2016 Chrome. And who knows? Maybe if I'm motivated enough, we'll just keep it on 
rolling right along until we get to uh, 2022 Chrome, which is due out sometime, I believe, in August. All right, Dellen, let's see what we can find for you in your second pack. We'll do your base packs first and see what we can find here. So far, no hint of any color in any of these regular packs. There's Raquelvin DeCastro and Alan Serdal. The color is going to be in these packs. So hopefully each pack has a color parallel for you for those Mojo packs. Still on next pack, oh, we got Pete Alonso having a fantastic season this year. Joe Ryan rookie card. Still no sign of the Wander Franco rookie card in any of these packs. There's Alejandro P.A. getting a little closer there, getting on the raise at least. Next pack up, you get four of the base packs. And then two Mojo packs, six packs total. There's Josh Lowe, nice rookie there. Nelson Cruz. You got Junior Sanchez. And there's Michael Triana. Still no Ellie De La Cruz in here either. So far, the only cards I have worthy of a sleeve, in my opinion, are going to be those two colored cards. Let's see if we can get another one right now in this pack. There's Justice Thompson and Benjamin Bailey. So nothing going on in those base packs. Let's go ahead and check this one out. I've had a tough time finding Bowman on the shelves recently. Every time I go out to Walmart or Target trying to do a retail review, it's always Heritage and Gypsy Queen and Prism Draft and stuff like that. So I'm hoping maybe this weekend I can hopefully find some. We'll see. It looks like you got another color card coming up. There's Matt Frazier first. A couple of pyres right there. Michael Escoto. And it's going to be a Junior San Quentin out of 225. So pretty nice that each pack has had a color card. How about another pirate? Shailene Polanco, an international free agent signing. And Fran Adouli, or Adouli screws it up. <laughs> The, uh, the Pirates run there is broken by, at least it's a first. All right, next pack up for Dellen. Let's see what we've got here. We've got Averson Artiaga and Edward Caro. And this is the first pack without a um, color card, but we're made up for it right now. We've got an Ellie De La Cruz first Bowman Mojo refractor. Very nice one right there. Honestly, you're probably going to want to have this one most times than just over. Actually, I'd probably take this one over, maybe except for the Tatis, the other two color cards. That is a nice one. And Benny Bombs as well for Dylan. So not a bad pack. The LED Daily Cruz saved that one. And we're into our third and final pack of this preview video. Give you an idea if you see these out at the store, if you want to pick them up. Back in the day, these only used to be 20 bucks for a mega box. Believe it or not, they are $50 now. Nothing else hanging on in there. Let's go ahead and wrap this up. And then get ready for Throwback Thursday a little bit later with 2015 Chrome. You can see no odds on these packs because they just basically have the base cards in here. There's Shohei Otani. And um, that's about it in that one. Hey, Will Wagner, by the way. That's Billy Wagner's son. Remember the flame-throwing lefty from the Houston Astros and Phillies and Mets? I used to like Billy Wagner a lot. I think he should probably be in the Hall of Fame. Hopefully someday he gets in there. But uh, with Billy Wagner, he just retired too early. He still had a lot left in the tank, but he retired to spend some time with his son, Will Wagner, right there. He spent time with him and helped him become a top prospect. Let's go ahead and check out the next pack. We've got O'Neill Cruz rookie card there. He's one of the cover boys of the box. Henry Davis, number one overall pick in the draft last year is a nice one. He's at Double A right now. I hope to go see him at Double A. It's only about an hour and 15 minutes away to go see him. I just got to make the, the effort to get out there to Altoona, Pennsylvania. Check out Henry Davis in a game up close and personal. And there we go. So that's the end of the base packs. Again, this is where all the action is at in the Mojo packs in these blaster boxes or mega boxes. Christian Hernandez, nice prospect there. Marcelo Meyer, another nice one. Joe Ryan, rookie card. Luis Rodriguez and Logan Cerny. So we're down to our final pack of the video. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Hope you guys hit that like button. And also, if you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button because we do these videos every single day. I wouldn't want you to miss anything. By the way, there's a little notification bell. If you tap that bell and click all, you'll get notified whenever I post a new video. So I would recommend you do that as well. So let's go ahead and wrap this up. Dellen, final pack. Can we... Get out of here with some last pack magic. And it looks like there... We do! We do have some last pack magic. It's Denzer Guzman. So, not the biggest name. I haven't personally heard of him. It's not a first, but it's a nice autograph. So, we got Denzer Guzman and a Khalil Watson right behind him. So, as 
you know, requested there by myself in my mind, we do get some last pack magic. Khalil Watson, one of the best of the best in this class, and a, an autograph of Denzer Guzman to wrap things up today. So, Dellen, thank you very much. Everybody out there, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Thursday. Check us out a little bit later tonight. We'll be opening a box of 2014 Chrome Jumbos. They are extremely expensive. They're about $800 a box. Uh, if you'd like to grab one of those. So it'll be a fun one. We'll be looking for some of the good rookies from 2014 tonight. So join us for that. Have a great rest of your Thursday, and I'll see you all later. Good night, everybody.